method is subtracting and adding fractions. So, you can see here, I'm going to write a fraction 3 fifths plus 4 eighths. Now we have to make these two denominators same. Now we're going to take out the LCM. You make like a tic-tac-toe cross you play game. Like that type of, but not, not with only one line here. So the numbers are 5 and 8. And it, the lowest prime number that is a factor of any of these two is 2, which is a factor of 8. Guys, if you don't know about like the... What do you say, the prime numbers and the composite numbers? Please watch my next video and it, I'm going to tell you all about them. So it is in 2 times table 5 doesn't come, so I have to copy it as it is. 2, 4 is our 8, and now 5 also doesn't come. 2, 2 is our 5 doesn't come. E, 2, 1 is our, and then finally we're going to do 5, 5. Now we're going to multiply these two 2 is a 4, 4 is a 8, 8, 5 is a 14. So the, both of their denominators are 40 and 5 8s are 40 so 3 8s are 24 and 8 5s are 40 so 4 5s are 20. Now we're going to add them which is 40, 4, 40. The answer is coming like it's an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator so we have to turn it into a mixed fraction. This is called a mixed fraction. This is called a proper fraction. This is called an improper fraction. You can see in a mixed fraction there are three digits. digits, And in a proper fraction the numerator is smaller than the denominator. And in an improper fraction uh, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So now we're going to read the 40 times table till we can find the number 44. Or like, you know... Uh, a number less than 44 which is 40 so 40 multiplied by 1 is 40 and how many numbers do we have to add so it becomes 44 which is 4 because 40 plus 4 is 44 now you can see this is a mixed fraction and you can also reduce it simplify it with the 4 times table so 4 multiplied by 1 is 4 and 4 multiplied by 10 is 40 so it is equals to 1 holes, 1 ten. You can see 3 fifths plus 4 eight is equals to 1 holes, 1 ten. Now I'm going to tell you about subtraction fractions. Let me raise the board. Okay, now let's start. Like subtracting fraction is pretty easy because when you have one adding fractions. Now let me take a bigger number. No, not this one. Yeah, I know. Six, eight, minus four, uh, six. Now we're going to make the denominator same by taking out the LCM. Eight and six, they both come in two times table, so two, four is up, and two, three is up, two, two is up, and three as it is because it does not come in two times table. And now two ones are and three as it is, three ones are and one. We have to do like reduce the number as much as possible until the answer is one, 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 one. Because then it will just continue. So yeah. Two two is a four, four two is a eight, eight three is a twenty-four. So both of their denominators is twenty-four. Eight um um three is a twenty-four, so six threes are eighteen. Now 6, 4 is a 24, so 4, 4 is our 16. Now we can minus them. 18 minus 16 is 2. So 2, 24, which can be further simplified by 2. So 2 multiplied by 1 is 2, and 2 multiplied by 12 is uh, 24. So 1, 12 is the answer. You can see. And guys, I hope this video really helped you to make like to clear out your mind and make your concept clear about adding and subtracting fractions until my next video bye but don't forget to hit that bell icon you see and subscribe like and share bye